Welcome to Quick Learning. In this video, we will learn how to use MD04 transaction code to display the stock situations and its requirements at a particular plant. This is a very detailed video in which we will see step by step how to proceed with this transaction and what are the benefits of this T code in SAP and how it can make your life easy. So we will start by pressing MD04 in our main transaction tab. I will press enter. After pressing enter, you can see there will be two tabs in front of me. One is material and other is plant. That is for individual access. In the second column, I have a detailed, uh, you know, filters like for plant, for MRP controller, for product group, for vendor, for production line, for class, etc. In which I can get the required detail as per my requirement. So first of all, I go to the individual access tab in which I'll see all the details of a one single material code at the plant 3003. So I'll use this material code for your example and convenience and I'll press just enter. After pressing enter, you can see this, you know, data has appeared in front of you. Let us, you know, understand it one by one. The first tab is the same. It's the name of the material right here and its code downside its plant its mrp type that is pd the material type is double nine zero six and its unit is pc pieces so here down in its table you can see this is the first column of the dates other is the mrp element the third one is mrp element data the fourth one is rescheduling the fifth one is exception Sixth is received a requirement. Seventh is available quantity. And the last one is storage location. So we'll see one by one what are each of these rows are. So on 9th of January today, the stock of this material is currently zero at this plant. So downside it is showing that on 24th of September 2021 a purchase requisition was created with this number and it was scheduled to deliver on 5th of January and the requirement quantity was 17 in this purchase requisition. So the net available quantity at plant will be 17 at that particular date. We can open this purchase requisition as well by just double clicking on it and we will press this display element or F7. It will further show us what is available in this purchase requisition. So it was taking some time. So you can see here, this is, this is the purchase requisition. This, it is number. This is the text, header text of this purchase requisition number. This is the material. This is the short text quantity date and requisitioner etc and same you know the purchase requisition details so i'll go back to our main you know main chapter so this was the first line that is showing us the detail of the purchase requisition again it is showing us that on first of november an other purchase requisition was created with this quantity that is five and at then the total available quantity at plant became 22 so coming to the third line it is showing on 5th of jan a maintenance order was created for the consumption of that particular material code during some maintenance and that maintenance order took six pieces of that material and then the total available quantity now became 16 you know 
before this line the quantity was 22 but now six quantity six number of pieces have been used then the total quantity has become 16 further coming down it is showing that on 15th of feb 2022 this maintenance will be performed using this maintenance order and 50 pieces will be consumed on 15th of february then the available quantity becomes negative 34 that the 34 pieces will be shot on 15th of feb to complete this requirement of maintenance we have to procure the 34 pieces of this material so going down it is showing us that on 28th of february one purchase order this is po item means it is purchase order is created and it will deliver 11 pieces of this material we can you know just open this purchase order to check its detail so you can see here this is the purchase order that has been created yes these are the elements these are the line items that are in this purchase order so going back now so we have seen that on 28th of feb the 11 pieces of this purchase order will arrive in on that plant and the net available quantity will become minus 23 earlier it was minus 34 now 11 pieces have arrived then now it will become 20 negative 23 another plan order is created in the system for six pieces that shows that some other purchase requisition will be created for these six pieces and then net quantity will become minus 17 further going down it is showing us that another purchase order is available in system whose delivery is scheduled on 15th of feb and it will deliver us 11 pieces and the net quantity will become minus 6 further the last line shows us that another purchase order is available that will deliver us 6 more pieces and the net available quantity at plant will become 0 that is completely aligned with this MRP type of this material so you can see here that this transaction MD04 is showing us the complete requirement and the stock list of this material that when and at what time the requirement of that material was created and what are the purchase orders or the stock transfer orders or the planned orders are available in system to cater these requirements so this is very useful command to check a detailed history of consumption or requirement list of any material code so I think uh, we have tried to explain it in very much detail now we'll go back to a back step and we'll go to the collective access tab so collective access tab us allows us to use one of these options to have the complete material list or the requirement list of any particular criteria so out of these for just for example i have selected in production line i have entered this production line number and i have further options available that are planned orders or the production or process orders plus its details as well so i'll enter this date you can see and now i'll check what are the production orders available in system for this duration of time so now it is showing me that for this particular line these two process or production orders are available in system and this is the stock of these materials for the first one the stock is 20,000 and the second one the stock is 1,24,000 on going further you know we have selection up to this point so you can see that this command is very much helpful exit yes 
this command is very much helpful in giving us a detailed overview of a stock requirement list of particular material code or some product group or the production line plan orders or production orders i am hopeful that this video will be very much informative for you for any question you can just write in the comments tab please like and share this video and please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos and to have a quick learning of different concepts of scp and other fields that's all from my side today take care bye bye